So the question is, is what is out of band management? And the TLDR is one of the coolest darn things you can have as an IT professional. If you don't have out of band management, you need to get out of band management. And I am not sponsored by anybody. Now, a lot of times in these videos, I try to keep things on the down low. I don't try to get too excited. But I have to say, out of band management is absolutely a magnificent thing to have. And if you're running any kind of su any you know decent sized infrastructure, you definitely need out of band management. So all out of band management is is it's the ability to connect to your remote systems such as your routers, your switches, possibly your servers, in a way other than the standard ISP connection that your company uses. So your company has its ISP connection to the internet. That's where the VPN traffic goes. That's where the web traffic goes. That's how the email get sent so you have one big pipe uh, in order to route all the traffic to the internet for the company what out-of-band management allows you to do is it allows you to be able to connect to your infrastructure type equipment by not using your main pipe uh, that everybody else is using so essentially you can use out-of-band management using even something like a dial-up connection so you could literally have a landline connected into a modem have that modem connected into a router or switch or if you go and look nowadays, there's a lot of new fancy, cool out of band management equipment that allows you to use LTE connections, so on and so forth. So essentially what you do is you have your routers, you have your switches, you have your NAS, you have your SAN, you have your, uh, your whatever systems you're administrating, uh, Linux or Windows or whatever it is. And basically you connect those devices to an out of band management piece of equipment. Sometimes it's using serial connections most of the time nowadays it's using some kind of network connection and then that out of band uh, management piece of equipment is then able to connect to the outside world again either using a landline or using an LTE connection or something like that so what happens is if you need to administer your equipment instead of coming in through a VPN through the main pipe or the email and the FTP and everything else is going through you're able to use the out of band management equipment in order to access your systems now the question is, is why would you do this? Why would you have an alternate way of connecting to your equipment, especially if it's going to cost you money, take time and energy? Because even if you're using something like a landline, uh, that's going to cost you another 40 or $50 a month. Plus, you have to set up all the equipment. If you're going to use an LTE connection, you've got to buy the out-of-band management equipment and then pay for the LTE service. So why would you have the secondary way uh, of in order to connect to your equipment? There's two reasons that you would have this. The first reason is for security. Now, now you think about it in this modern world where you're worried about hackers, uh, one of the main vulnerabilities is if you have all the administration ports, all the management ports, connected to your normal network. That means if a bot or a virus is able to get into your network, or if you actually have a ha hacker, you know, you're in a call center and a hacker, you know, decides to, uh, to get hired with your company, they can then try to do things like brute force attacks to try to get into your equipment. So if you have Cisco equipment with a username and password, the administration console is connected to the normal network, then that is a, a vulnerability and that network piece of equipment might be able to be hacked. Now, on the other hand, if you have that administration console that administration port connected to an out-of-band management system, then there's just simply no way for the local area network to be able to access the administration consoles on that equipment. So the first th reason that you want out-of-band management equipment is just for simple security. You don't have to worry about brute force attacks. You don't have to worry about, again, some wannabe hacker is working in the call center, figures out that the default gateway, you know, whatever the password is to the default gateway, and then tries to log in and tries to muck with things. So the first reason you would use out-of-band management uh, equipment is for security. The second reason is the question of what happens if somebody puts a backhoe through your T1 line, or again, your, your ISP line. So you have your main internet connection, whether it's fiber or cable or whatever else. And sometimes, a backhoe goes through it, or sometimes that, that ISP connection goes down, but the company or the office needs to continue running. So a lot of times when the ISP connection goes down, you may have some weird, funky network issues that just take basic troubleshooting. Maybe you have to reboot a switch or reboot a router or just go in and tweak a couple of configurations so that the internal, the LAN, functions properly until you can get, get, get that ISP connection up and running. 
Well, if you don't want to have to send somebody actually out to that office, if you have out-of-band management equipment that's connected into your switch, into your, uh, into your uh, router, and into your server, you can go and you can do basic administrative tasks using that out-of-band management equipment um, while the rest of the office is completely off of the Internet. So it gives you a secondary way uh, in order to connect into your equipment if the main Internet connection is down. So those are the reasons that out of band management equipment is really great. Now you may be sitting there, you may be thinking, well, Eli, I don't understand. Um, if you're basically using a dial-up connection to get into this equipment, or if you're using an LTE connection that may not have a lot of prepaid bandwidth, how are you able to do very much before you run out of bandwidth? The important thing to understand is all you're going to be doing with the out-of-band management equipment is basic configuration tasks. So you connect into your Cisco equipment using a terminal, or you connect into your, your Windows equipment or Linux uh, equipment using something like SSH. So you're connected to the equipment, but the bandwidth that's required in order to send commands and receive uh, the acknowledgments from those commands is actually very small. It is important to understand you're not going to be uh, streaming YouTube videos over this equipment. By and large, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be sending commands, looking for results, and basically you're trying not to use very much bandwidth uh, with these type of administrative tasks, and that's why you can use something, again, something as slow as a 56K landline actually can work in these situations. And so that's what out-of-band management is. That's why it's incredibly cool, and you should definitely look at using it if you have remote offices.